tree fruit get your attention because this is only the first stop in a line of highlights of an amazing competition. We usually do videos about fast and talented cubers, about world breaking records, but I had to give a spotlight to the organizers that spend a lot of time, effort, attention to details and whatnot to make an amazing comp. And I'm talking about uh, the Cola Summer Cup by Cypress Cubing. It's the second time being to Cyprus and they have an amazing venue. First up was like free sodas, fruits, snacks, uh, free lunch. And they, they had to put signs because people kept asking if it's like paid or free and not only for the competitors, for the parents or those who came with them. It's a part of a big chill out zone where you can just rest, relax or warm up for the next part of the competition. Don't worry, you won't miss anything because there's a huge projector showing you the competition area. So the competition organizers and WCA delegates are Shamil here on the left, Mike in the middle, don't worry, I won't butcher your last names, and Tim, a guest delegate from the Netherlands. It was a pleasure and inspiration watching them working with a lot of patience with the younger generation, teaching them how to judge, how to run, preparing them for the competition. I even heard they have their own line of competition, making the actual competitions more accessible, like an uh, internal league, and they have a whole set of prizes for the youngest competitors, for the best runner or the best judge. Another thing that made this competition really memorable were the professional photographers that had been there all the time. They didn't interrupt, but they managed to get amazing footage full of emotion. I didn't feel the need to go with the camera and take pictures myself. They always managed to be there in the right time uh, getting some of the most interesting <laughs> pictures, moments of pain or happiness, and really captured the essence of the competition. And the prizes were insane. They had trophies, they had medals, there were two separate podiums, one for Cyprus citizens, one for foreign citizens, and everyone got prizes. They had the Moyu V9 as a prize, Tornado V3, they had a Terraminx there. I was a volunteer and I got a Super RS3M ball core. And there was a prize for King Trank, which I got fourth in the foreign one because they were also for the Cyprus one. And I got the Guhong V4. And the kids got prizes for the youngest competitors, for the best judges, for the runners. Really nice investing in the future generation. In the middle of the competition, there was a raffle, which, by the way, I won. And just to top it all, everyone got shirts for the competition with logo and the events and like amazing memorabilia. I also volunteered, so I got a volunteer shirt. So amazing. There are many other things that I wanted to mention about this competition, but look at it this way. Cubers from 11 different nations came to Cyprus to compete. And not just from European countries, from Korea and China. You might think, yeah, other competitions have this as well. Why are you so surprised? And my response is that I'm not surprised. I just thought about stopping for a second and be thankful for any organizing team that create a wonderful competition, spend time, effort, planning, searching for a venue, finding sponsors, to make sure that we as a community could keep cubing, grow, meet, interact with each other. And as I think that we should highlight pro-cubers, talented cubers, as we should, I think we should also thank the organizers without whom we wouldn't have such amazing competitions. So Shamil, Mike and Tim, thank you.